Congratulations on your daughter passing the entrance exam. As expected of Mika's daughter, you must be proud. Is it true that she got into a prestigious private school? Yes, it's true. As expected, children from wealthy families are different. My son is so stupid, he doesn't even know the basics of studying. I'm so jealous. Thank you for the congratulations, but why are you saying all this? Actually, I have a more important reason for contacting you. Reason? Since your daughter passed, are you planning any celebration? Maybe a fancy dinner. We're not planning on fancy dinner. Oh, really? So where are you going? We haven't decided yet. Is that so? Let's decide now. Since it's a special occasion, let's go somewhere nice. Why should you decide? This has nothing to do with you. Are you trying to tag along like you did with Sarah? What do you mean? I know all about it. It's been quite the topic among the moms. You crashed the ballet class celebration without being invited. And you didn't even bring money, so you ended up eating for free. You really angered Sarah. Yes, Sarah got really mad because I was a bit late in paying back. I thought she was kind, but she wasn't. Anyone would be mad if they were shorted $300. So, where is your family going to celebrate? You're still asking. You're really persistent. Even if we decide, I won't tell you. I don't want you tagging along. Call me stingy or whatever you want. Just don't cause any trouble. A few weeks later. Hey, why are you here in the restaurant? Of course, because I knew you were coming here. I asked around a lot. Don't you think my research skills are amazing? You should use that ability for something better. It looks like you brought a lot of people. Are they your family? Yes, my parents, my brother, his girlfriend, and her friends. Everyone hasn't eaten since yesterday in anticipation. Your husband and kids aren't here? No, it would be troublesome if my husband found out. I want to focus on eating. I'll contact you when it's time to pay. An hour later... Hey, where did everyone go? Did your whole family go to the bathroom? We have 90 minutes, so you should eat up. We're full and headed home. You left already? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Is there a problem? There's still time left. Leaving before the time is up is a waste. We booked the 60-minute course. The 60-minute course? Yes, you booked the 90-minute course. Yes, it's the most popular option. We wanted to enjoy our meal longer. So, you have 20 minutes left. Enjoy. Wait, if you're not here, who will pay? Pay yourself. Don't ask me. I can't do that, so I'm asking you. Use your brain. You didn't bring money, did you? Of course not. We planned on you paying, so we didn't bring any. Wait, you mean your whole family came expecting me to pay? Yes, otherwise we wouldn't come to such an expensive place. Unbelievable. Your family is as inconsiderate as you. Don't insult my family. But it's true. You're really rude. If you keep this up, we won't be friends anymore. That would be great. I'm done here. Wait, I can't afford to lose you as a friend. Please come back and give me money. Give you money? So you won't pay it back? No, I will pay back once I have the money. Just come back. I don't believe you. I won't return. You always say you'll pay back, but never do. That's not true. Trust me. You're doubting a friend. That's the worst. Expecting someone else to pay for an all-you-can-eat is worse. So what should I do? If you don't pay, no one will. We'll have to run away. If you do, you'll get arrested. Do you want your family to be criminals? We have no money. Running is the only option. If you don't want us to be criminals, do something. Why are you ordering me around? No wonder your husband wants to leave you. What are you talking about? Why is my husband involved? I told him everything. What you've done to us and other moms? So what? He'll just scold me for a bit. I doubt it. This time, he plans to divorce you. No way. Yes, he said he doesn't want to be with someone who troubles others. He plans to cut ties with you. No. You must be joking. I'm serious. He said he'll pay the bill for now. He's coming to the restaurant. At least the bill will be taken care of. That's not the issue. 
divorce is. Discuss it with your husband. I can't help. This is your fault. Take responsibility and convince him. No way. Why should I interfere in your marriage? Your husband will handle it. Goodbye. A few days later. Mika, hello. Something terrible happened. Terrible? I ended up divorcing my husband. The house is in his name, so I have to leave. What should I do? Rent a small apartment. If I rent, I'll have to pay rent. Yes, that's how renting works. I used my husband's savings, so I have to pay that back too. He'll take custody, so I have to pay child support. I also owe for the meal. I might end up in debt. Complaining won't help. You need to work. I've never worked since I got married. There are jobs even for beginners. Just be motivated. You can do it. That's not what I want to hear. Why? You should help me. You should give me $2,000 a month after the divorce. Are you serious? If I give you that, I'll go bankrupt. I have three kids. Then $1,500. No way. I have no obligation to support you. I won't give you a penny. And I won't associate with you anymore. Even you, Mika? So, other moms have already cut ties with you? Yes, they stopped responding to my messages. You're the only one who replies. Do you know why? Because you've troubled everyone. Crashing parties and not paying back money. When asked to repay, you said it was a gift. That's enough. I was wrong. Maybe I was a bit arrogant. A bit? You were very arrogant. You don't have to be so blunt. With people like you, I have to be clear. But you're still replying to me, so you want to be friends, right? No, I didn't block you to know what you might do next. I wanted to protect the other moms. But if you leave town, I don't need to keep tabs on you. Wait, are you going to block me? Of course, there's no reason to stay in touch. That's harsh. Even I get hurt. You get hurt? with your thick skin? Are you calling me insensitive? Yes, that's it. Staying in touch with you is exhausting. Goodbye. Wait, don't you have any last words for me? I'm sorry for everything. Please stay friends. You're the only one I can rely on. If friends can't help, rely on your family. You have parents, right? They're unreliable. They have no money. That's why I'm asking you. I can't help you. You're an adult. Take care of yourself. Are you really abandoning me? We were friends. Being friends with you had no benefits. Why are you so mean? I miss the kind, Mika. I'm kind to decent people. To others, I'm direct. So I'm blocking you now. Goodbye. Wait, Mika. After her divorce, Emma moved out of town and rented a small apartment. She started working part-time to pay back debts and support her child. She often made mistakes and was scolded at work, becoming an outcast. No one in the new town befriended her. Meanwhile, my friends and I now enjoy peaceful days without her causing trouble. We need to choose our friends carefully to avoid such issues in the future. Hi, Amanda. Hello. Oh, it's my favorite mom friend, Kristen. What's up? There's something I'm curious about. Can I ask you? Sure, go ahead. You seem to follow me around a lot, even when we've just met. Do you have a reason for it? Following you around? That's a bit harsh. Sorry, but it makes me wonder. I just want to get to know you better. You stand out a lot. Really? I think I'm quite plain. But you're a CEO's wife, so you really stand out. I've never met a CEO's wife before, so it's impressive. It's not that rare, really. But you live in a big house and look wealthy. You seem so elegant and cool. I admire that. I'm flattered you think so. Thanks. So can I ask you something? Sure, what is it? You love me, right? Of course I do. Why are you asking that now? You're 38 years old. My highest education is from a university economics department. My favorite food is meat, especially beef. Your favorite beef brand is Kobe beef. Wow, you know a lot, but that's just basic stuff. One last question. What is my specialty dish? 
roast beef. Have I mentioned that before? Did I get it right? Yes, you got it right. But why do you know so much about me? Are you hiding something from me? No, nothing at all. Don't say weird things. Oh, I have to go now. Talk to you later. A few days later. Hi, Kristen. I heard something interesting from a mom friend. Hello, I had a feeling you'd contact me. Why is that? You were waiting for my message. Not really. You love me too, Kristen. That's why we're best friends. I'm happy. That's not important. What's the interesting thing you heard? I heard you're going to a fancy restaurant with your family tomorrow. I'll join you. Everything's exposed. I'm going to the police. What are you talking about? Exposed? About what? You're the one who planted a listening device in my house, right? What are you talking about? I have no idea. Even if you deny it, we know everything. You planted a device to listen to our conversations. That's why you know so much about me, right? No, you're wrong. I just love you, that's all. But only you knew about my roast beef specialty. And I never told anyone else about going to a restaurant. Maybe I heard it from your kids. I didn't even tell my kids. I don't even know how to make roast beef. The restaurant was a lie to catch the culprit. I knew you were listening. Why did you plant a listening device? Why do you think it's me? Because you admitted it just now. I have a mom friend who knows you from before. Mika, remember? Yes, I know her. We were close in the previous town, but we don't talk anymore. Mika told me you did the Jessica thing before. Why? I was curious about the daily life of rich people. That's all? Isn't there another reason? Rich people dine out and throw parties. So you wanted to tag along and get free meals? Yes, because I'm not rich. I wanted to feel like a rich person. I hate rich people. Hate? Why? I was poor and excluded by rich girls. I can't stand rich people being happy. I wanted to take money from them. That's why you planted a listening device. Yes, I want all rich people to suffer. I understand your pain, but it's not my fault. You don't seem to be struggling now. You brag to other moms about your wealth. That's why I targeted you. I can't believe this. I didn't do anything to you. I'm calling the police. Wait, please don't. If you call the police, my past will be exposed. My husband doesn't know about my past. It's a good chance for him to know your true self. Please, I beg you. I'll pay compensation. No, you should face the consequences. I need to protect others from you. I'm going to the police now. Goodbye. Wait, please, no police. A few days later. Kristen, I'm really sorry. I was scolded by the police and my husband. Hello, I'm glad you reflected on it. Don't do it again. Thank you for the apology. Goodbye. Wait, I have something to tell you. What is it? I'm getting divorced because of this. My husband is kicking me out. I might lose custody of my children. No one in the neighborhood talks to me. I'm all alone. You don't understand why people leave you? You planted a listening device in someone's house. That's scary. But isn't it just listening to conversations? How would you feel if someone did that to you? It's terrifying. I was really scared when I found the device. Even if I had a hunch, finding it was scary. I'm sorry for scaring you. It's fine. What do you want to ask? I need help. Can you support me financially after the divorce? How? My husband found out I used his savings. I have no money and might go into debt. My life will be tough. That's your own fault. I have no obligation to help you. But you're rich. Can you hire me at your husband's company? Do you speak Japanese? No. We only hire Japanese speakers now. What about a secretary? I do that myself. What should I do then? Figure it out yourself. How can you ask the person you wronged for help? Because you're the only one left. Other moms blocked me. I didn't block you just to keep tabs on you. I wanted to make sure you paid the compensation. Don't say that. Friendship is about overcoming obstacles. I have no idea what you're talking about. No one wants to stay friends after this. This conversation is over. Please don't contact me again. 
Please don't abandon me. Goodbye. After the divorce, Amanda moved out of her house. She started working part-time to repay her debts. She often made mistakes and was scolded at work. She became an outcast and had no friends in her new town. Meanwhile, we enjoy peaceful days without her. We need to be careful about who we associate with to avoid such trouble in the future. Sometimes, you just have to indulge yourself. Not indulging isn't good for the heart. Oh, Rachel, what's up? Did you indulge yourself in something? Yes, I recently stayed at a luxury hotel with Jessica. It was really nice. I want to go back. Well, you went on a trip with Jessica? I didn't know you were that close. I didn't realize you two were such good friends. Yes, we are quite close. Close enough for Jessica to cover all the hotel costs. What? She paid for everything? Are you serious? What's so surprising? For me, it's normal. What are you talking about? That's not normal at all. I love traveling and dining out on other people's money. I haven't gotten anything from you yet, Natasha. Maybe you'll treat me next time. What are you saying? There's no way I'll do that. Oh, don't be so uptight. But I'm serious. I will definitely get money from you. By the way, aren't you going to a luxury inn soon? Perfect timing. Wait a minute. Who said you could come with me? I never mentioned anything like that. Oh, you're not taking me? Well, even if you don't invite me, I'll just tag along anyway. Enough already. I said no. And if you keep this up, there will be consequences. Consequences? What do you mean? Even if you try to hide the trip's details, it's no use. I'll find out from the other moms. I'll make sure to confirm the details. What are you talking about? Just stop it. If you force yourself to come, you'll only be in trouble. I won't be in trouble. You will. The luxury inn must be very expensive. It sounds amazing. Well, enjoy your fantasy. It won't go as you think. A few days later. The room is luxurious, the food is amazing, and the hot springs are fantastic. Just as expected from a $10,000 per night inn. Oh, I just realized. I forgot my wallet at home. Can you cover the bill for me? I'm staying at the end the day after tomorrow. What? Good thing you're such a fool, Rachel. What are you talking about? I confirmed with the other moms that today is the day. How can you not figure it out by now? The other moms lied to you. Lied? The other moms told me today was the day. They all agreed to help me teach you a lesson. They wanted to get back at you for taking their money. So everyone lied to me? Yes, everyone was in on it. You were the only fool who didn't realize it. How dare you? Come to the inn right now. It's $10,000. I drink expensive wine and whiskey. The bill must be crazy. It probably is. Just pay it yourself. I can't pay that kind of money. Please, come to the inn. I said no. This is your responsibility. My responsibility? How is this my responsibility? If you hadn't been taking other people's money for trips, this wouldn't have happened. It's your fault. This is ridiculous. Why should I be blamed? A little bit of money should be fine. It's not a little bit. Jessica said you took about $1,000 from her. Amy said you took $2,000. Of course they're angry. Wait, listen. I have my reasons. What reasons? My husband controls all the finances. I have no money for myself. He spends on his hobbies, and it makes me mad. I wanted to spend money too, so I started taking money from the other moms. It's my husband's fault, not mine. Oh really? That's tough, but I don't believe you. What? I thought you understood. No, I don't. Your story doesn't add up. There's nothing wrong with my story. I know your husband. He's very nice and says you control the finances. He complains he can't spend money. You talk to my husband? That's impossible. Yes, sometimes at the supermarket. I've never seen you shopping. Do you make your husband do everything? And you take his money too? That's absurd. There's no way. Should I confirm with him? See if he really controls the finances? Wait, do you have his contact information? That's not fair. It's normal to exchange contact information in case of emergencies. It's not fair to accuse me of an affair. 
An affair? That's ridiculous. Exchanging contact information isn't an affair. If it is, then all the moms and dads are having affairs. I just confirmed with your husband. You're taking his money and buying luxury bags and jewelry. That idiot. Why did he tell you that? Your story about him controlling the finances is a lie. I suspected as much, so there's no justification for taking money from the moms. Wait, no. I didn't mean to do this. It started with just a little bit of money. When no one asked for it back, I kept taking more. I'm really sorry. I can't believe you. You don't seem to feel guilty at all. No, I do feel guilty. I went too far. So you'll pay the $10,000 for the end. What? I never said that. But you feel guilty, right? Then pay up. No, it's $10,000. I can't pay that. Please, you pay it. No way. This is your fault. You took other people's money, and now you have to pay. I refuse. I'll keep taking money from the moms. I'll keep traveling on their money. Why are you so obsessed with other people's money? It's more enjoyable to spend your own money. No way. If I use other people's money, I can save mine for luxury items. It was the perfect system. Doing bad things will catch up to you eventually. Learn from this and stop using other people's money. No, I'll keep doing it. Tell the other moms too. If I spend $10,000, you'll owe me $30,000 next time. What are you talking about? If you keep this up, I'll tell your husband about your bad behavior. He already considers divorcing you. Divorce? That's too sudden. It's not sudden. You've caused too much trouble. It's time you face the consequences. Wait, please. I promise I won't use anyone's money again. Just don't tell my husband. Apologize to your husband. He'll probably ask for a divorce and alimony. And if you can't care for your kids, he'll take them too. He'll take the kids too? That's too much. It's not too much. You've done terrible things. Why is this happening to me? It's all your fault. Take responsibility. Why should I take responsibility? This is your fault. You need to deal with it and pay the $10,000 to the end. The other moms won't help you either. Someone, please help me. This isn't fair. Fair or not, you brought this on yourself. Accept it. No, please. I'll do anything. There's nothing you can do. Just pay the money. Someone, please help me. After this, Rachel kept contacting me, but I ignored her. Eventually, I blocked her. Rachel was also blocked by the other moms. She couldn't ask anyone for help. She managed to pay the end with her credit card, but her husband was furious. He divorced her and demanded alimony. She lost all her money. Rachel stopped coming to our meetings. We can finally enjoy peace without her.